Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys my Lush collection and um, I think there probably is going to be another video up before this. I'm going to film it on the same day. This is the new hair. I told you guys I was planning on changing my hair. I've done this before. I've gone actually very orangey red before. I've gone very, very dark. The only color I really have a color color, not like crazy like I've done pink and stuff, but the only color I haven't gone is black. But I thought I'd go, it's like an auburn. The way it looks in the sun is spectacular if I do so say so myself anyway so before we go any further I am gonna tell you what's on my lips because it's not often I'm in front of a camera but I'm don't have a lot of daylight I don't I use sunlight daylight for my lighting because I find that's most flattering um, <clears throat> so I don't have a whole lot of time to do this so I lined my lips with NYX's uh, lip liner in the color natural and then I filled my lips in with Julianne's nude. That's Julianne Moore. So I filled my lips in with that color. And then on top of everything, I decided to go with Dolly from Buxom, which is a favorite of mine. And you guys know that. So anyway, so I have quite the collection. I wouldn't say it's my largest collection. I've been really good about purchase. Like I, I really am using up what I'm purchasing. I imagine most of my bath bombs are going to be gone within the next couple months at the rate that I have baths. There's certain things that I'm saving for summer, other things I use for bubble bath and shower gel and so on. But anyway, let's move on. So where to start? Um, so I also made a video not long ago as well telling you what my favorites were. So this happened to be in one of my favorites. I love Juicy. This is the small size that you can purchase. From Lush that do come in three different sizes a less is more with this so I really feel like you don't need to, I don't think you need to go for the big big mama jamma because I'm down to about here and I've had this since November so there you go there's that uh, lemony flutter cuticle butter fantastic just a small size this goes a little goes a long way as well with that and then we have pie pie to pepper which is again was on my favorites list and then I have one of these in the freezer right now but I brought out my Bush de Noel facial cleanser and again um, I will say this while I'm on it black pots or the clear pots that hold shower jellies in do count as well but you can clean them out first and then you can take five of them back to your local Lush and receive a, a free face mask. Now, I don't know about the new jelly masks, if they are part of that program or not, um, but I do know like the standard one, like the one I love, don't look at me. It's definitely a part of that. So anyway, Bush and Noel. And then what do I have down here? Oh, <laughs> then I've got some lip scrubs. I have duels of these because of a lot of these items that you're going to see today are because of the Christmas like after Christmas or Boxing Day sale. So I have two of the Cranberry Fizz Sugar Scrub, two of the Sugar Plum Fairy Sugar Scrubs, lip scrubs. I do love the lip scrubs, I think they're great. Oh, where to go? Okay, <laughs> as you can tell. And this is what I was sort of mentioning at the beginning. I'm gonna save this particular stuff mostly for the summer because it's peppermint. This is the Chris Tingle Body Conditioner. I have three of the large pots and two of the small ones. Love this one in the summer, especially because it's peppermint and I use the sh um, their body conditioners for shave lotion for my legs. Um, and I just feel it's so nice and cooling and softening and you know, you don't have to put lotion on, which is what they state anyway. And then I've got two of the Snow Fairy body conditioners and two of Buck Fizz and uh, Buck Fizz of course was part of, same with Snow Fairy was part of their Christmas line. Let's go on to some other things here. We've got two big cinders. I'll just show you the size differences too. So we've got two big, two of these, and then I've got two of the smaller ones. So this is the 500 mil and this is the 100 mil. Yeah, 100 mil, 500 mil. So that is excellent. Yeah. And my beloved rose jam. This one is now part of the permanent line. So I'm using this one actually as bubble bath, which is amazing. So good. I have two of the small snow fairies. It came in my wows from the Boxing Day sale. 
two of the sleepy as well they came in the same package pretty much a lot like majority of what you're gonna see came in that package I have one sleepy body lotion which I use for my body lotion but I like to use it in my decollete area in my like again my pressure points on my wrist because I do sleep on my side this is fabulous go to sleep kind of scent it's beautiful love that one all right Let's go into soaps and I have to have this because I'm not very good. This is my wow package. I kept this to do this video actually. So I can't remember what they're all, especially the soaps. I'm not a big fan of the hard soaps, but I give them as gifts as well. So we've got Shooting Stars Soap, just the one because I've given one as a gift already. Same with this one and this is Mary Berry Soap. Rock, uh, is it Rockstar Soap? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Oh, struck. Apparently, oh no, that's wrong. Snow Fairy Cold Press Soap. Sorry, Snow Fairy. So it smells just like Snow Fairy. And I used the other one when I went to Maui. I brought that with me as like my shower soap. Loved it. This one is the weird shaped one. This is um, Ice Ice Shoggles Soap. Ice Shoggles Soap. And this one looks like a little leaf. This is Christmas Citrus Soap. I think this is uh, Baked Alaska Soap. That was a standard staple. And then there's this Half Moon one. The North Polar Bear left the tap on for the Northern Light Soap. And then I have three of my beloved pear soaps. And anything with these little bags that you're gonna see, these are biodegradable, biodegradable bags, like lunch bags that I buy at the grocery store. As soon as I get lush, I basically bag them up um, just to keep them as fresh as possible and not as messy because if I keep them in the little paper bags, excuse me, hiccups, um, that lush gives me, I tend to get dust and all sorts of stuff um, all over the place. So, okay, then there's massage bars and I, what do I have? Where is it? I gotta find the, where are you? Oh yeah, Holly Berry Massage Bar. I have that in this tin, which is a why I've actually I have two oval tins, one's at the boyfriend's house. And then we've got two lush tins here, which I, while I'm on this topic, oh, there's so much stuff in front of me right now. Oh, so I use these tins for things like Buffy, the um, moisturizing scrub. So I like to use that with these ones. I'm just gonna throw that in there because it makes sense to show you what I actually use in these. And the tins are great. These little round ones are also great. I also enjoy some of their shampoo pucks. They're solid sh shampoos. Um, okay. And then, oh, onto a couple. Mm. I have a concern. I have a concern. Um, world's smallest disco, ba disco bath bomb. This is great. I tried one and cursed the day I did that and I don't know what I'm going to do the other two because it does stuff to my bathtub. I don't like, and this is why I'm worried, this is like the cat. This is from Halloween. I don't have the name, but this is a bubble bar. I'm just showing it to you so you can see this bubble bar is like a charcoal gray black. Same with this. So I haven't used this before, but this I tried and I was like, curse the day you were ever invented. Why Lush? Why do you do this? Doesn't matter how long I'm in the tub, it does leave a bit of a ring in my white bathtub. I, I, I have yet to try this bubble, but this is a bubble bar, sorry, from Halloween of 2018. Okay, so then we go to Holy Night Bath Bomb. I've got two of those. And another product I'm not as, I'm not as mad at it as I am the darker colored bath bombs because of what they do. I'm not as particularly happy with the Snow Fairy Jelly Bomb because I find, again, to, I have a reasonably temperate bath. It's Sometimes I like it really, really warm. Not hot, but really, really warm. And sometimes I'm there for a while. The little bits don't. It almost foams up and leaves a ring around my tub. So it smells good, but you know, like, okay. And then we have Shoot for the Stars Bath Bomb, which is one of my favorites for uh, for the winter time. Yeah, so that was really, this is the Honey I Wash the Kids scent. This one is the one that they changed. This one was a um, uh, Luxury Lush Pud Bath Bomb. I have two of these left. 
So they used to have this in the scent of Twilight, which is in the regular line, but this year they made it into Snow Fairy. It seemed to be a lot more Snow Fairy this year. I don't know. It's not a bad scent, but uh, just not sure why they changed. I only have one left of the Butter Bear. This is a fantastic bath bomb on its own or mixes a cocktail because it's just cocoa butter. Um, and so it's great with other smells too. So I have one of him left. One of the, the Paradisol Bath Balm. That's that one there. Three of my favorite, favorite Lord of Misrule bath bombs. Love that one. Two of the Golden Wonder Bath Bombs. Another great one, and I agree with Kim Hart's organizing. She said this is one of her favorites. It is one of my favorites. I also like how it leaves my bath while I'm in the bath. Like it's just a beautiful turquoise, beautiful water. And then this is cher or Cherry Christmas Bath Bomb. These are great. They're pretty good size too. Um, this is, where are you? Where are you? I should know you. Starlight, Star Bright Luxury Bath Melt. These are bath melts. They're full of luster on the outside, um, but I could use this like three times in my bath. Put it in the bath and then run your water and it melts. It's sort of like that cocoa bear I just showed you. Um, it just gives such great moisture uh, to your skin, especially in the winter time when your skin probably is wanting it the most. Now this one, oh, I should have read though. I should have read this. When I went to go use the other one that I got with this, I was like, oh, it's a bath bomb. Not a bath bomb, it's a freaking bubble bar. So this is a snowflake bubble spinner. I don't know, I think spinners might be overrated now. I think they were a fad, but um, but anyway, so it's got this little wooden piece in it. So you just sort of stick it. I found it, stick it on the bottom of my bath. And as of my bath water was running, it just basically, it was it did wonderfully. And I think I got three, three good bubble baths out of this. So. I just hate storing them and that, and we'll talk about another, well, I'll talk about it now. I'm not a fanatic. I'm not a fan of these bubble bars on a stick. Um, yes, it's got jingle jangles, magic wand, reusable bubble bars. I'm not a big fan of the reusable bubble bars because I had to find a place to put this. You swirl it in your tub or you put it underneath the tap in your tub and, um, you know, into your des bubble desire. And then where are you going to put it? That isn't going to leave a mess. I had to take a plate from my kitchen and put it in my bathroom to put this on I just I am I'm kind of a little OCD so I have an issue with that so anything that is reusable or naked and we'll talk about that in a few moments as well I, I like the idea but I'm just not there I'm not there I have two of the candy cane reusable bubble bars basically I'll just chop up a little bits of this and put it underneath the tub and get a few uses per uh, candy cane bubble bar. And then this one is Candy Mountain Yule Log Bubble Bar. Again, you'll get I can get two to three uses out of each one of these for bubble baths. And these are dense. These little elves, they're also scary looking, a little weird. Uh, these are very dense and very heavy. These are the Naughty Elf Bubble Bars. This one's his hat, can I? broke off but doesn't matter I'm gonna use it in the bathtub anyway so he's a heavy one I'll tell you that much Serge one's cauldron is something that they've had from Lush for quite some time it does it's one of the items that comes out for Halloween this is great it's in like a muslin cloth already there's a solid bath oil inside plus many herbs and like um I don't, was it part of this I don't know I remember must be anyway I, I really enjoy this it's very moisturizing really 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 like it and then we have the this one, which was the Christmas version. Where are you? Oh, here it is. It's Plum Pudding Luxury Bath Melt. So same kind of concept, but that was that one. Then I have two of these, which is the Sugar Plum Fairy Sugar Scrubs. So there's these ones. I'm not a big fan of the sugar scrubs, but you will use a tin probably to keep them out of the water and so on and so forth. So these ones are bubble bars, bubble runes, for um, putty, holly, bubble rune. I can get two to three uses a piece out of this for sure. Um, bubble runes is a bubble bar. This one's from Halloween, one of my favorites, although messy. Another bubble bar, which is shaped sort of like a mm, weird pumpkin. There you go. 
And then we have, I haven't tried these yet. I know they'll be a favorite of mine because of the scent family that it's a part of. And this is the Yog Nog Yule Log Bubble Bar and I have four of them. So two of them came in the, one in each of the wows that I bought. Plus I bought two on the side on Boxing Day because I, again, I already know it smells like, um, uh, b -b 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 what was it? Oh gosh, that was a poor little guy. Anyway, there's a little, there was a bath bomb a couple years ago. It's in the top of my head, doesn't matter. But it's, it smells exactly the same and it's right up my alley. So then there's these two and there's ever so slightly different, there's small differences in color and look. This one's got a bit of it, um, like iridescence to it. And this one's a Rose Argon Sparkly Naked Body Conditioner. Again, I, I naked products. Again, I love the concept of it. They're just so annoying and so finicky that I'm just like, um, I don't know. I don't know if that's something I want to do. <laughs> uh, and then there, these two here are Charity Pot Naked Body Lotion. Now the lo body lotions are no problem. I have no problem with that. I mean, I can stick it in a tin or whatever. I can take it out of the bath while my, my skin temperature is really warm, put this on my legs, my arms, you know, just moisturize. But the body conditioners generally, what I showed you earlier, I use to shave my legs. This is just gonna get annoying, I think. But anyway, that's my collection, you guys. So um, last year, 2018, I actually managed to get through all of my bath bombs by October. So yeah, I got through all the bath bombs I had in my collection, which was even more than this by October. And you know, you don't bath as much in the, in the summertime. So I do like a daytime bath sometimes, you know, but that's like avo bath and using different types of bath bombs that they bring out that's a little more fresh. But anyway, that is that. And yeah, I told you guys I would give you both my collection video as well as choosing some of my favorites in my collection or things that Lush makes. So as always, you guys, be safe, take care, and have fun. Bye, guys.